Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to play the rest of Crawl by Breaking Benjamin. In the last video I just did the intro, which was the... Okay, and then now I'm going to show you how to play the rest of it. Um, uh, one thing I didn't show you in the last video with the intro was how to play the solo part. And that sounds like this. How that's played on the uh, third string 12th fret and I'm gonna start counting the strings how it's supposed to be one two three four five six starting from down here up uh, third string 12th fret and you're gonna pluck each one if you're gonna fast pick it like I did in the cover um, it's about three three uh, plucks per string per note and it's gonna go from 12 here and you're gonna go to the second string 16th fret and it's gonna go 16 15 and you're going to move over to the 3rd string, 15th fret. And then it's from the 2nd string, it's going to go 13, 15. Those ones you only pluck twice. And then you're going to repeat that, except that instead of starting here, you're going to start on the 18th fret of the 2nd string. Okay, so it's basically the same as the first part, you're just starting on this one instead. And then you repeat the first part again. And you end on the third string. It goes 15, 14. For the verse, um, how I do it in the cover, it's a little bit different than how Breaking Benjamin actually plays it. But how I do it in the cover is uh, bar chord on the fifth fret. And that's going down to the three. And then first fret. And then third fret. And that repeats over. The next part, right after that part, um, it starts. It's the same thing. It goes five, three, one, three, except it's going to be, uh, it sounds like this. And the only difference is that, of course, you're obviously you're palm muting it and you're double picking it, double strumming it. Um, the part when you go down to the first fret, there's a note in there that goes up to the third fret, just real quick. And then obviously it goes, uh, pulls off from one and zero, one and zero. And then it starts over and does it one more time. And then the part after that, I don't know if it's the pre-chorus or the chorus, I think it's, I think it's a pre-chorus, it goes, starts on the fifth fret, it's gonna go, and then third fret. And then first fret. And it's going to hammer on from one to three. And start over. So the first part you're going to strum it four times. And then on the third fret you're going to strum that three times. And it sounds better if you start with an upstroke. So up, down, up like that. And that together is going to sound like... Okay, and then over the top of that, the second guitar is going to be playing this. And how that is played, it's on the third or fourth strings. What you want to do with your first finger, just bar right here, those two strings on the fifth fret. And it's going to go five, this is going to all going to be on the fourth string, this part. It's going to go five, eight, seven, eight. And then you're on the next string, third string, you're going to pluck that fifth fret, which is why you barred it. And then you're going to go eight, seven, eight again. And you're going to repeat that whole thing, because instead of hitting the 5th fret on the 3rd string, when you go up, it's going to be the 7th fret. I'll play it slow, because that might that sound confusing. And that's just repeated over that whole entire segment there. And then it goes into the chorus, which sounds like this. And that's repeated. That's a uh, fifth fret. It goes up to the eighth fret, down to the third fret, and then it goes down to the uh, first fret and back up to the third th third fret. And it repeats that again. And the part that plays over that sounds like this on the second on the second guitar. Okay, 
and that's played over the chorus. On a, and that's only going to be on the first and second strings. And on the second string, it's going to be on the eighth fret. That's where you're going to start. And it's going to go eight, eleven, and then you're going to switch to the first string, and it's going to go ten, and then back to the eleventh on the fret on the second string, and then back to the first string. So it's basically going first string, second string, first string, second string, first string, second string. It's basically the pattern. And on second string, the pattern goes like this. Let me just show you. And the second part after that is exactly the same, except instead of going up to the 11th fret, you're going to go down to the 8th fret. After the first chorus, there's the fill. They're just, they play the intro part just once. that up a little bit but that is right after the chorus and then it goes back into the verse again and it goes through all the rigmarole that I just showed you and then once you get back through to the second chorus right after that there's going to be uh, you want to borrow the fifth fret and strum that four times and then there's a fill here it's gonna go I'll, I'll play it first and then I'll show you again okay um, that looks hard to play and it is kind of hard to learn uh, after the after you strum the fifth fret four times you're gonna go Eight seven zero, three five zero, three zero, one zero. I'll play this over again. And it sounds weird, slowed down, doesn't sound like a song, but we can speed it up a bit. And that goes right into the breakdown. Um, if that part is hard for you to learn, just pause the video, rewind it, and watch it again until you get it. Um, the next part is the breakdown where that sounds like. does that. Um, the two main parts, the first part is uh, one open, one open, and then it goes to three one, three one. And after you do the one open, one open on the first guitar, the second guitar plays a C, except not there. They play it. Uh, in the cover I played it like this, like that. That is barred on the third fret, the last or the first four strings, and then the second and third string on the fifth fret, and you just drum those strings. And then it goes. <coughs> and the part that plays after the 3 1 3 1, it's like the other fill before that I showed you, except shortened. It's, it goes like this. Yeah. Uh, it's 8 7 open 3, and then it goes back to the 1 open 1 open. And then it goes back into the chorus, and then the last part, which sounds like this, after that last chorus, goes. Okay, how that plays, it goes five, open, one, open. And then you just meet the strings, and then do it again. And this is a similar fill like the last ones we did before. It goes eight, seven, open, three, five. And when you go to five, that counts as the first note of the next part. It sounds confusing, it goes. And then the palm meeting is a palm meeting, the strings again. And then that's one more time. Do that fill one more time, and then you end on the fifth note. Then you pause and then there's that. And that is it for that song. Hope you enjoyed.